Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video we will cover the script tab. Whenever we are entering into the debugging mode, we have a dedicated tab that is script tab. If I will go for the system, this is our debugging mode and we have a dedicated tab script. So in this video, we will understand what is this script tab. Very, very useful tab, especially in the project. Whenever you are working into the standard transaction course, at that time, this tab will help you to reach up to the solution, to reach up to a point in a very quicker and effective manner. And very less people knows how to use this particular script tab, but it is very, very effective tab. So as a part of script tab, we will cover two topics. What are those two topics? How to stop SAP debugger on selection of tables using script tab. How to stop SAP debugger on update of tables using script tab. You all know selection of tables means where we are fetching that data, where select queries are written to fetch that data from the tables. Update of table means where SAP has written the logic to update the database table. Update the database table means database operations like insert, update, delete, modify. So as a part of script tab, we will cover these two topics and very, very effective in a fraction of seconds itself, we can reach up to the dedicated code. Suppose for the better understanding, I will go for the example. Suppose I'm going to MM03 transaction code. You all know what is MM03 transaction code? This transaction code is used to display the material. Suppose I'm passing some material number. I'm pressing enter. I will choose basic data one. Now you can see we are able to see description, unit of measurement, material group, unit of weight and other things also. It's not a magic that these things are appearing automatically. SAP has written the logic to select the data from the various tables. And after that, we are able to see this data. SAP has written the logic to fetch the data from MARA table, MAKT, MARC, MARD, MARM. So these all are the tables. And SAP has written the logic into this MM03 transaction code. And after that, this data is visible to us. Now suppose, now suppose you don't know the script tab and you want to check where SAP has written the logic to fetch the data from Mara table. Where SAP has written the logic to select the data from MAKT table. Then how we are doing previously. Suppose I will go to again MM03. How we were doing previously. I will put the material number. I will go into the debugging mode using slash H. Debugging switched on. I'm putting enter. Now you don't know the script tab. Then at that time, how you are or how you are going to dedicated code. You will simply go to breakpoints. Breakpoint add statement. You all know wherever SAP has written the query to fetch the data. The first word is always, always select. And we can put a breakpoint on the statements. Suppose I'm writing select. I'm going for enter. Now system will stop onto all the queries. I'm doing S8. Have you seen? This is the query to fetch the data from this table. I'm doing S8. This is the query to fetch the data from another table. I'm doing S8. This is the query where SAP has written the logic to fetch the data from Mara table. Okay, I reached up to Mara. I'm doing S8. 
This is another table. T T T zero two three. I am going for another table. This is our another table. M A R T. I am doing F A. This is another table. I am doing F A. This is another table. I am doing F A. This is another table. Have you seen? If I want to check for a dedicated table, I want to check where SAP has written the query to fetch the data from MAKT table to fetch the data from Mara table. But what we are doing, we put, we put a breakpoint on select keyword and we are doing F8, 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 and we are reaching up to a dedicated query. So how much time consuming it is? So suppose that query to fetch the data from a dedicated table is very, very at the last. So you can see it's very, very time consuming process. So in that case, if you know how to use the script tab, you can reach up to the solution in a fraction of seconds itself. Very, very useful or very effective, while say very effective functionality given by the SAP. So now I will show you how we can use script tab for this particular thing. So I'm just deleting all the breakpoints and I'm coming up. I will just go to MM03 again. Now I will show you the things through script tab. I provide the material number one. I'm doing slash H. Debugging switched on. I'm going for enter. Now I will go for script tab. Especially in selection and updation, very, very effectively you can use this script tab. I will go for script tab. Now you will be able to see a button here, load script, load script. Whenever I will click here, by default, you are getting a script name rstpda underscore script. These are the initials of the SAP. These are the initials of the script. Just do F4. Whenever you will do F4, you will be able to see the various scripts. Now, out of these scripts, you need to choose a script which is applicable based upon your requirement. What is your requirement? You want to search or you want to use the script to select to select the data from database table. It is clearly, clearly visible to you. RST PDA script, these are the initial PP select tab and description is very, very effective. We are selecting from the database table. So just use this particular script. Suppose I'm using this script. I will go for OK. Now I use this particular script. Now, if I will show you break slash watch point tab, now you will understand. Have you seen SAP system has automatically put the break point on select? Yes. Now, now the thing is people will say, okay, you put a break point, you, you selected the script, but ultimately how effective it is, we are not able to reach up to a table. Now I will show you how you can reach up to a dedicated table. That's why we are using this. Now I will go for start script. I will click here. Whenever I will go for start script, now it is asking, pass the table. Do you want to go for which particular table? You want to, you are applying the script, but you want to apply for which particular table? Suppose I will write Mara. I will go for execute. Now you can see we reach up to the dedicated query. Previously we did F8, 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 F8. Now we are able to see everything here itself. Now you can see, suppose here, if you want to go for other tables also, I will show you that part. You can continue the script or you can exit the script also. Suppose I'm continuing the script. I will just choose basic data one and I will go for OK. Now just see how effective it is. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the script tab, which is a part of debugger, SAP debugger. 
very very useful if you know and the, i'll say very less people know how to use the script tab so it is very very effective so what we did suppose as a part of that we will cover two topics and we are covering the first topic how to stop sap debugger on selection of tables i took the requirement suppose i want to display a material but i want to check where SAP has written the logic to fetch the data from Mara table, from MAKT table. If you don't know the script tab, how you are doing? You are putting a breakpoint on select statement or select keyword. You are doing F8, 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 and you are reaching up to the dedicated point or dedicated code. See how time consuming it is. You can simply go to script tab. You will find a default script there some name underscore script star you can go to f4 help and choose the script based upon your requirement currently we are going for selection of table so we choose the select script now whenever you will go for start script it will ask you you want to go for which particular table then at that time i choose the mara table and i am able to reach up to that query directly itself we are able to see the code directly that this is the code where the SAP is selecting the data from Mara table. In the next video, I will show you how you can go for multiple tables, how you can use the wild card characters also. In that case, wild card character is very, very useful feature. We can use wild card character star also when we want to see, yes, these many tables. So in the next video, I will show you that particular part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.